In this video, we're going to solve a classic chemistry question. How many molecules are there in a 3.46 gram sample of hydrogen chloride? To find out, we'll need to convert grams into molecules. And we'll do that in two simple steps. Step 1. Convert grams into moles using the molar mass of HCl. Step 2. Convert moles into molecules using Avogadro's number. Let's take it one step at a time. Let's start with step one, converting grams to moles. We're told we have 3.46 grams of HCl. To convert this to moles, we need a conversion factor, something that links grams and moles. That conversion factor is the molar mass of HCl. So first, we go to the periodic table and look up the atomic masses. Hydrogen has a mass of about 1.01 grams per mole. Chlorine has a mass of about 35.45 grams per mole. To get the molar mass of HCl, we simply add them. 1.01 plus 35.45 equals 36.46 grams per mole. That means 1 mole of HCl equals 36.46 grams. Now, we'll use this relationship as a conversion factor. Here's the part where students often ask, do I divide by the molar mass or multiply? Great question. And the answer is this. You always multiply by a conversion fraction, and the units will tell you where each number goes. Let's break it down. We start with... 3.46 grams of HCl. We multiply this by a fraction, a ratio made from our conversion factor. The two parts of that conversion are 1 mole and 36.46 grams. Now, we want the unit grams to cancel out because we're trying to end up with moles. So we put 36.46 grams on the bottom of the fraction and one mole on the top. Here's how the setup looks. Notice how the unit grams cancels out and the only unit left is moles, which is what we want. Now we do the math. 3.46 divided by 36.46 equals 0 0.0949 moles of HCl. Now that we've completed step one, we know that 3.46 grams of HCl is equal to 0 0.0949 moles. Now for step two, we're going to convert moles into molecules. To do this, we need another conversion factor. This time, the conversion factor comes from Avogadro's number, which tells us one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. This means that if we have one mole of any substance, it contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So now comes the important question. Do we multiply or divide by Avogadro's number? Let's think carefully. And just like in step one, we'll let the units guide us. We are starting with 0.0949 moles of HCl, and we want to find the number of molecules. So we write down the quantity we're starting with, 0 0.0949 moles. Then we multiply it by a fraction, just like before. Inside the fraction, we place the two values from our conversion factor. 1 mole and 6.022 times 10 to 23 molecules. Now here's the trick. Since the unit we're starting with is moles, we want to cancel that out. So we write 1 mole on the bottom and 6.022 times 10 to 23 molecules on the top. Why? Because we want the unit moles to cancel and the unit molecules to remain. That's what we're trying to find. So the setup looks like this. Now the unit mole cancels out and we're left with molecules just like we want, which gives 5.71 times 10 to the 22 molecules of HCl and that's your final answer. And that's it. 
we started with 3.46 grams of hydrogen chloride, converted that into moles, then used Avogadro's number to find the total number of molecules. So remember, when you're going from grams to molecules, it's always a two-step journey. Grams to moles, then moles to particles. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out the next video. We'll practice more problems just like this one.